Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Weiss and this is the continuation video of capital structure. In the previous videos, we have seen calculation of EPS that is earning per share under EBIT analysis and computation of indifference point. Now, in this series of videos, we are going to see four different approaches to capital structure. We will see one by one. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Now, let us see the first one that is net income approach. Okay. Now, let us get into the video. See, before we see the numerical problem, let us try to understand the basic concepts about net income approach. Okay. In net income approach, there are few assumptions are there. Number one, there are no corporate taxes. So, corporate tax is nil. And the second one is uh, the cost of debt lesser than cost of equity. KD refers to cost of debt and KE refers to cost of equity. Okay. So, according to net income approach, the KD that is cost of debt always lesser than the cost of equity that is KE. That is also one of the assumption. And the next one is the use of debt capital does not affect the risk perception of investors. Okay. So, these are the important assumptions. So, based on these assumptions only, we are going to solve the problem according to net income approach. Okay. So, here there are two important components are there. The first important component is V. V refers to market value of the firm. So, we are going to find out the value of the firm according to net income approach. Okay. And the second one is KO. KO refers to overall cost of capital okay so there is a formula to find out v that is market value of the firm is equal to s plus d so s refers to market value of share that is equity share okay and d refers to market value of debt okay so here the debt will be given in the problem it can be debentures borrowings or long term loans okay so debenture or debt will be given in the problem so, we need to find out yes. So, yes refers to market value of equity shares. So, there is a formula to find out yes. The formula is earnings available to equity shareholders divided by cost of equity that is KE. So, KE will be given in the problem. First, we need to find out the earnings available to shareholder that is equity shareholder. The formula is EBIT, earnings before interest and tax minus interest. Okay, so there is no corporate tax, no. So, after paying the interest, whatever profit is available, the entire earnings available to equity shareholders. Okay, so divided by cost of equity, KE will be given in the problem. Simply apply this formula to find out, yes. D, debt will be given in the problem. Just add these two figures in order to find out the V, V refers to value of the firm. Now come to the second one, KO, that is overall cost of capital is equal to EBIT, that is earnings before interest and tax, this will be given in the problem, divided by V, V refers to value of the firm. So after finding V only, you can apply this formula to find out the overall cost of capital. Now let's see the numerical problem for better understanding. See the problem, ABC Limited has employed 12 percentage of debt of 15 lakhs. Okay. So, 15 lakhs debenture in the capital structure. The cost of debenture is that is interest rate is 12 percentage. Okay. In its capital structure. The net operating income of the firm 7 lakhs and has an equity capitalization rate that is KE. Cost of equity 16 percentage. Assuming that there is no tax. Find out the value of the firm and overall cost of capital under net income approach. Okay. Now, let us see the solution. See the solution. We have these informations in the problem. The first one is EBIT. So, how much EBIT? Net operating income of the firm 7 lakhs. This is EBIT. Okay. And the next one, 12 percent debt. This is D. Okay. How much? 15 lakhs. 15 lakhs debt is there in the capital structure. And the next one, KE. KE refers to cost of equity or equity capitalization rate. How much? 16 percentage. Okay. So, with this information, we are going to find out the value of the firm and overall cost of capital. Okay. So, what is the formula for value of the firm? S plus D. S refers to 
market value of shares and D refers to market value of debt. So, D given in the problem, first we need to find out yes, okay, that is a market value of equity share. So, this is the formula, earnings available to equity shareholders divided by cost of equity. So, KE is given in the problem. So, how to find out earnings available to shareholders? EBIT minus interest on debenture, that is debt, okay. So, how much EBIT? 7 lakhs, no. So, this is the earnings before interest and tax. According to net income approach, there is no tax. Only we are going to subtract interest. How much interest? 12 percentage on 15 lakhs. 1 lakh 80,000. Divided by KE. KE is 16 percentage, no. So, you can write 16 into 100. So, you will be getting 32 lakh 50,000. This is market value of share. So, after finding S, yes, now you can find out the value of the firm. So, market value of the firm is equal to market value of share plus market value of debt. Debt is given in the problem. So, how much S? Yes? 32,50,000 plus debt 15 lakhs. So, total 47,50,000. Okay. So, we got the total value of the firm. 47 lakh 50 thousand okay and the next one is we need to find out overall cost of capital that is ko so what is the formula for ko ebit divided by value of the firm into 100 okay so how much ebit see the problem they have given ebit 7 lakhs 7 lakhs divided by market value of the firm how much 47 lakh 50 thousand so 47 50 into 100. The answer is 14.74 percentage. So, this is the overall cost of capital of the firm and this is the value of the firm according to net income approach. Okay. So, this is the way to find out value of the firm and overall cost of capital according to net income approach. Okay. In the next video, we will see the remaining approaches. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.